welcome back to my channel. Here's Levi again. So y'all, I have so many books that I have to talk about. I kind of want to make this as quick as possible because I've gotten a lot of new books recently. It's kind of a collective haul from a few different occasions. There's a lot, so I'm gonna get started. First, I ordered, I think about 11 books from thriftbooks.com. Love them. You know, after my last trip to Barnes & Noble, where I spent way too much money, you know, I thought we're only going to get used books from now on. So also most of these are recommendations from Hannah from A Clockwork Reader. So I got pretty much every book that she's ever recommended. So. <laughs> I've also read a good amount of these already. So um, let's talk about The Night Circus by, oh my god, by Erin Morgenstern read this already and didn't love it as much as everyone else does was it a good book yes but not my favorite but i read the night circus uh the strange and beautiful sorrows of ava lavender by leslie walton read this book as well again just not my thing a lot of these are kind of like fantasy and magic and as much as I want to like it, I just, it's not my thing. But you know, they're good books if that's what you're looking for. But, uh, Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by Johnny Sun. This book is so cute. This is the first graphic novel that I've ever read. And <laughs> it was precious. It's just like really minimalistic cartoons. Talking about life, man. It's so cute. I seriously want to get this as a gift for everyone I know, but got that. Uh, Persepolis, The Story of a Childhood by Marjane Satrapi. Actually just read this yesterday. It's another graphic novel. Really went out of my comfort zone here. And yeah, this talks about her life growing up in Iran during the revolution. And obviously it's pretty sad, but... I really enjoyed Persepolis. The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton read this one as well and I can definitely see why it's a classic. It definitely had a lot of characteristics that made it kind of universal. It was really good. Um, again, not my most favorite book I've ever read but we have The Outsiders. Next is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon which I also have already read. <laughs> I've read a lot lately, guys. I'm really proud of myself. Also, I got it used, like I said, and like the cutest note, it says, she's my fave author. Please love and take care of this book. How sweet is that? Um, I actually really enjoyed this book more than I thought I would because it is YA. It's more for like a younger audience, I feel, but it was really cute. I liked it. Next is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Um, Read this and added it to my favorite books of all time list. This was such an amazing book. It's just everything that I love wrapped up into a book. It's like historical fiction about World War II. It has dual um, perspectives. It's beautiful. Wow. Um, yeah, this is the first book that I've read in 2020 and started out with a bang. I absolutely love this book, so got that as well. I've read all of those books. That's crazy. Uh, so the last four from thrift books I have not read yet. So Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Have not read this yet. I think, honestly, don't really know what this is about. So I'll get into that. I have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Um, this is my fourth book by John Green. Of course, he's amazing. Of course, you know, he's famous and well-deserved, but, um, and this is such a beautiful copy and it's like a really pretty cover. Uh, next I have The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. This is a chunk of a book and I've heard so many amazing things about this book. I'm really eager to get into it. So, got that. Last book from thriftbooks.com is The Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Kaur. 
and I was gonna get this from Barnes and Noble and then I saw that it was like $17 so I got it for like three or four dollars and it's a great copy I'm gonna try and get into poetry in 2020 I just can't this is my only poetry book that I own and I'm gonna really try and have an open mind but uh, yeah so we have this book of poetry so next are a few books that I got from a used bookstore in town and I went in not needing a single book and I left with seven so I actually did go in for the call of the wild I went and saw frozen 2 which incredible by the way and they had a trailer for the call of the wild I was like oh my god I almost bought that book let me get it so this is the tiniest book I own this is so petite yeah this is by Jack London classic book um, on the dog topic, I saw this right as I was checking out, and I was like, you know what? We're gonna do it. So this is War Dogs by Rebecca Frankel. Tales of canine heroism, history, and love. I saw this, and then I saw that it had pictures, and I just didn't stand a chance. Like, come on. Hold on. Hold on. You're kidding. So we got War Dogs. <laughs> Uh, next, uh, The Most They Ever Had by Rick Bragg. You guys know I love history, and this is about work at a mill. I think it's a true story. I'm pretty sure. About just, like, the really tough lives that people had for the people of the mills. So, this is also a really tiny book. Um, I'm really excited to read that. Next! We have Radio Shangri-La, What I Discovered on My Accidental Journey to the Happiest Kingdom on Earth by Lisa Napoli. Um, I saw this and it was $2 and I was like, you know what, why not? It sounded happy and maybe a nice little easy, lighthearted read. So I got this. Excited for this, never heard anything about it. I finally got In the Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Philbrick. I've been having my eye on this book for months and was gonna get it at Barnes and Noble, but it was really expensive. So this one was $7. So yeah, this is about the sinking of the Essex, which inspired Moby Dick. I'm really excited about this one. I was in the Old West section and saw Badasses of the Old West. True Stories of Outlaws on the Edge, edited by Aaron H. Turner. And this talks about a lot of different men, including Bud Stevens, Frank and Jesse James, so many people I haven't heard about, Dirty Dave, Bob Rogers, like what, like why? But I'm so excited. I love that. I love Outlaws, so. And then the last book I got from that bookstore is The 20th Train, The True Story of the Ambush of the Death Train to Auschwitz by Marion Schreiber. I think I'm the most excited about this one. Um, what I find so captivating about World War II and why I'm so obsessed with books about it is that you can never know everything about it. There's always a story that you're not going to know about and that's going to be new to you. So. I've never heard of this train ambush, and I saw it, and also it's a really good cover. Sounds incredible. I, yeah, the 20th train. Last two books are from Book of the Month, the books that I got this month. So the one I chose was Topics of Conversation by Miranda Popke. Beautiful cover. Also really tiny. I didn't realize how small this book was. It's only about 200 pages, so... Um, I started it last night and then fell asleep, so I'm going to have to restart it, but uh, yeah, this is what I chose. And then I also got to pick a free book, um, one of the finalists for Book of the Year, and I already had three. And so I had to pick between like the last two, and one was like a romance, I think, and then the other one was Recursion, Re sorry, Recursion by Blake Crouch. I don't honestly know what this is about. Science fiction. I think I've read one science fiction book, so yeah, this is so out of my comfort zone, but it was free, so I said, why not? We'll give it a shot. 
Um, so yeah, Recursion is my last book and this video is really long and I'm sorry. I had so many books that I wanted to talk about and show you guys. My bookshelf is looking really full and beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.